PowerPC processors were known for their strong performance in areas like multimedia and scientific computing. They were used in supercomputers like the IBM Blue Jean series, as well as games consoles, all the big hitters from the seventh generation and the Wii U. So, what happened to PowerPC? The PowerPC architecture was developed by IBM, Apple, and Motorola in 1991 with the goal of creating a new, high-performance processor for personal computing. Apple first started using PowerPC chips in 1994, debuting on the Power Macintosh. It sold 150,000 machines by March 14th, with Macworld's review of the machine saying that not only has Apple finally regained the performance lead it lost about eight years ago when PCs appeared using Intel chips, but it has pushed far ahead. However, as the 2000s progressed, PowerPC processors faced increasing competition from Intel's x86 architecture, which offered better performance per watt. In 2005, Apple announced its plans to transition from PowerPC to Intel processors, citing the need for better performance and compatibility with software applications. The shift to Intel processors marked the decline of PowerPC in the consumer computing market. PowerPC losing Apple meant they didn't have the market momentum to compete with Intel, which led to them failing to keep up with Intel's speed and efficiency advancement. In the end, Motorola's semiconductor division later became Freescale, which has continued to produce PowerPC-based embedded processors. After Apple moved to Intel, IBM continued to develop and use PowerPC for its servers and mainframes, which are still in use today.